Okay, this time we will go with tried and tested 1d4. And you know what? I'm feeling a French defense. I changed my mind. Let's see. And this is supposed to be bad. Because can't I just take and take and take and this looks like it's dead lost out of the opening. All right. Pins make wins. And play play uh, play knight f6. <laughs> play knight f6. And this would be a great example game on why not to play c5 when white has a knight on c3. Or that. Okay. So as a French author and someone who teaches the French to my students, this is a very quick and simple thing why you should not confuse your lines. Alrighty. Well, after knight c3, you got a couple different moves here. The winner, which you can definitely see in my book, or the classical. And we even cover, in Master of the French Defense, the Rubinstein variation. So you got, got lots of options here that is not c5 immediately. c5 immediately, on the other hand, can be played against knight d2. And this is one of our recommendations in the book on takes. We look at the queen takes lines. But you can't, can't, can't mess this up when you're playing black. Because if c5, and you try to play move 3, c5 against everything, you can get wrecked out of the opening here. And probably the best objective try is d4, hoping for a mistake. But it is hope, because check, check. And knight e4 holds on to your investment. Your queen's covering the b. And this just already, white has a big edge. So for those who play white, if your opponent tries this type of stuff, and then my opponent made my life much easier after queen a5, and I see that I can disconnect the queen's defense of the bishop, and that doesn't help because of the pin. So a very short one in this game, but instructive nonetheless due to the opening mishap.